Well, my father was working underground at the time. He was at Mainsforth in Ferry Hill. He'd be, only been there a short while. Uh, he was asked to come to, the, to speak uh, on the telephone at the uh, bottom of the, the shaft to, uh, to find out, in fact, that the Durham County Council were asking if he would um, paint a mural for the new Shire Hall, the new county hall. So it was quite a surprise to him, quite, a, a, quite an undertaking that he had to agree to. Obviously there wasn't much money in the family, um, typical working family, mining family. Really he was given a leave of absence without pay. Um, he was given £1,000 at the end of the day once he'd completed the picture. But nevertheless it was quite a, an anxious time for him um, to leave work and take on this huge undertaking. Particularly when he realised that it was going to be 30 feet wide and um, 6 feet tall. So when it was painted it was unrolled from the stretcher, rolled together and put onto a, uh, the back of a carpet van and brought through um, to County Hall. Um, he had a friend who was a joiner who put together three large stretchers which were bolted together um, in the area behind me now um, before the actual uh, canvas was stretched onto the, uh, onto the structure. We hope that the mural will be a centrepiece to Bishop Auckland Town Hall and will be for the first time taken down from up high and being able to see at eye level so everybody can appreciate the work of Norman Cornish and this fantastically and also very large mural of uh, the Gala Day in Durham. Um, yeah, it, it's a lovely thing to, to realise that this is all happening at the, or during the centenary year, really. It's, it's, we're approaching the end of the series of exhibitions. And my father's profile has been raised significantly. Um, I think it was, it was already very strong in the North East region. People associate with the work and, and the work resonates with people in the area. But I think it's really raised the bar, um, generally speaking, across the, the country. Uh, and a lot more people have, have, have taken notice. So this, this mural is now going to be seen by more people, seen properly, as in at eye level, by a lot more people. The, the picture shows from, from side to side a rhythm that shows how a big sweeping curve, almost like an ocean, and you follow the curves through the picture, showing a sea of humanity. And interesting, the, the colliery banners were almost like uh, sails of a, of, of a sailing ship flowing across that sea of humanity. So it's got a lovely sort of rhythm, a lovely idea to the actual composition. I'm proud to say that I'm sat on my father's shoulders. So on the bottom left side of the picture, we see a young Norman Cornish and an even younger John um, looking as young youngsters on the left hand side towards the center of the picture. And the, the idea is to, to show the, the, the young population looking to the future. And on the right hand side of the picture we have some older folks and they are perhaps um, the, the older generation reflecting on the past. So there's lots of interesting features built into the actual picture. I think you'd have been very proud of the legacy that he's left behind. He wouldn't brag about his work at all, he was very meek and mild in that respect and he didn't really want to be known as Norman Cornish the person. He was only interested in um, his paintings in terms of how they, how they make people feel and how people appreciate how he felt about his community.